Hi, so my name is Danielle and I am a chemistry student. I did a quick production on working volume and developer of peroxide mixed with developer. Um, so here are the two reactants we'll be using. We have Maji Kroon developer 40 volume and we have lightener. So looking at these two products, what makes up lightener is diammonium phosphate, trisodium phosphate, and potassium persulfate. Uh, what makes up peroxide is mostly water at 84% and peroxide at 12%. Um, so with using this lightener and using the developer, I wanted to figure out which, which item is the limiting reactant um, and these products that allow an oxidation to occur. So here's a few formulas about how they're made, but then going through um, our final product, comparing the, um, the ratio of how much product was used and our molar weight of the product, um, we went through and decided that at 20 grams at 33% of the pro of 33% ratio of what this makes out, assuming that each one equals one mole, um, we have our limiting reagent as our potassium per sulfate, which interestingly enough, when potassium and sulfate are mixed together, they um, oxidize producing a little bit of um, peroxide on the reactant side. And then the peroxide was the limiting reagent in the developer side. Um, so this is why when either your peroxide, um, when it's mixed with your, um, your liner, when it dries up, it stops working. And that's what gives hair color its ability to, to keep lifting until, um, until the product has dried up. Um, potassium persulfate is the oxidizing agent and peroxide is the weak acid. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.